Hello guys, Willy Creeper here again, and um, <coughs> yep, we're down in the XP farm, record farm area, and um, I don't know is that I've ever really explained this thing here, um, and I thought I would, because my objective for today is to get rid of it. So, <laughs> last chance to explain it. Um, this is a boat lift. Um, really, really good system for um, getting up and down. Really resource friendly. You know, obviously not not as much as a ladder, but um, who wants to use a ladder, eh? Um, so basically, you've got this boat, and it's halfway into this stream of water, and level selections handled by this setup here um, what we've got if I can get past the boat without knocking it which is one of the reasons I want to get rid there we go um, we've got this trap door and pressure plates on fence posts and um, the fence posts um, are small enough to allow the boat to pass um, and the boat will stop at each level and you hit the trapdoor to continue um, and then when you call the system and this button and redstone basically shuts a piston up there um, momentarily and then reopens it and the boat is falling down in the so if you imagine there's a gap in the column of water um, it hits these pressure plates before as it's coming down, it hits these pressure plates before the trapdoor, despite how it may look, and the trapdoor opens and lets the boat through. So when you call it, the boat comes to the bottom. Now there are a few problems with this. Um, one is um, you can only call it to the bottom level. I guess I could have it put uh, so the set up so you could call it to other levels, but frankly. There, yeah, I just don't want to because in addition to that, it's quite slow. And also, when you get out, sometimes you fall through the bottom of these things and you end up, in order to get out reliably, what you have to do is kind of look down and hold jump. And then, there you go. And you can get out. So, uh, also, it's constantly being jostled by ocelots. So, end up and the boat breaks and once it's out of position you basically have to if it doesn't break on its own you've got to break it and um, and make a new one basically and place it on the bottom level so yeah it's um, basically a little bit of a nuisance so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of it and replace it with the zipper lift I've been going on about for several episodes. So yes, this is the area that the zipper lift is going to sit, uh, be arriving at and what we're going to do is we're going to face it, um, orientate it so our pistons are running along this axis and we're going to be facing either this way or this way, probably this way. and. Um, One thing to note is this design is um, this design is three give me that where did that sandstone go? Uh, is three in that direction. Oh and rain and three deep and one, one, two, three, four, five six um, in width so I'm going to have to dig all of this 
down to the bottom um, over on this side I'm not going to leave this open um, I'll bring the hill forward to cover the pistons um, so yep I'm going to get on with that and I'm also going to firstly make some ladders so I can get in and out and I'll be back with you once I've got that dog okay <coughs> yep that is a big hole <laughs> or a bigger hole than it was so um, let's see how we're going to place this Right. This is how it works. Um, I think we want to be facing this way, maybe. Yeah, so we'll have this at the front and we'll, when we're at the top, we'll arrive facing the jungle. So that's quite nice. So, not there. So we need, that's our first pistons on that side, and if we can get some smooth stone bricks, there are pistons on that side. Um, that like that we can fill those in there um can't feel I made a mistake there whoops oh like that and that there we go um there we go and that first one should be a stair sorry about that right so two pistons two pistons um and this set starts one block higher so this is basic zipper lift stuff um on this side we have a stair pre-extended so no piston behind it to um, to basically start us off so what happens is these two pistons push us up this stair as they extend in fact for those of you who don't know how zipper lift works okay so they extend and push us up there then uh, these two extend. Is that going to get it? No. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can. These two extend and they'll push us up this way. And then two more will push us up the other way, and so on and so on. So. The key with a zipper lift, and this is where you, um, where I found it, the, the speed is to be made out of them, is to ensure that the time difference between these two firing, then these two firing, then these two firing, then these two firing, is as small as possible, um, and uh, but is even. And what I've found is you can make it. Uh, the time that it takes a torch to turn on so one torch delay so there's the pattern to this which we're doing stone bricks while we're down here <coughs> if I can remember this pattern so um, right okay so for each pist pair of pistons you want block um, I 
pointing at the bottom of those two. And on that block, put a piece of redstone. Now, behind this redstone, we're going to run a vertical wire. Okay? And that vertical wire is one of these jobbies. Okay? So we'll do the same here. So there's our pattern started. If we carry on with that, um, I want two more pistons. Uh, block there with a torch on, and a block on top of that torch. Get rid of you, and a block there. So it's pointing at the bottom of the next pair of pistons. torch, redstone. Okay, and not red, redstone. There. Okay. And then, basically, all the way up, we repeat that pattern. So, block, torch, up. Block on top of that torch, block on top of that, redstone and torch. Okay, and then you just need to, um, you'll have to forgive me, I've not actually built this in survival yet. Um, there we go. Yeah. Okay, and um, yeah, we'll put some stairs on there as well. Uh, Oh, nearly did that perfectly. Oh, except one of those come out upside down. It doesn't really matter for the bottom, the bottom one, but um, let's get it nice and even. <sighs> yeah, that's probably a better way of doing it. Have a scaffold, so we can do the same on this side. Uh, block, torch, block, block, torch. There we go. Block. Uh, oh, torch. Block, torch, du, du, du. redstone, and that's probably be easier when I'm not demonstrating. I'll just build one side all the way up and then the other. Okay, so <laughs> vertigo. close, not pro.
Okay, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed that uh, impromptu time lapse. Um, one thing um, that you will have missed because of that um, is the wiring down here. And um, I'll explain that now. Um, so here are our vertical wires here and here. Um, and <clears throat> first off, um, what I'll say is it's really important that um, we have uh, an equal number of torches through to activation. Okay, so if we take this torch, which is the first on this side, the first torch that powers a piston, this one here, and the one below it, can't see it, but uh, if we count back from that torch, one, two, three. And then if we take the same torch on the other side, um, which is, jump up it. In, oh, I put in this back wall, so I'll just have to knock that out. And hopefully not knock something important out. Ah, that torch there. So that is the lowest torch on this side that powers pistons. Um, and if we count back from that, we've got that one there. Then there's one directly below it there. So one, uh, one, behind, one behind this block, two, and then three. Okay. Um, so once we have the torches laid out, equally and so that um, by default um, the pistons are all powered yeah so we want um, the pistons to be powered when we don't supply any further signal okay so your stairs look like this or closed and then what we can do is by supplying some current um, and we'll, not that. Um, we'll do that with a, um, we'll do that with a, a lever. We'll just clear some back wall again so you can see. If we supply some current, all the pistons depower. So this redstone goes powers this block, which depowers this torch. Power, no power, power, no power, all the way up, and the same on this side. Okay. So that means the lift will be in perfect sync. Both sides will be in perfect sync. Okay. Now that allows us then to use a repeater with a single on the first setting. So it's a single torch delay to delay one side of the lift by one torch. Now the way the vertical wire works, because each power feed goes through two torches so we have power from this torch to these two pistons and then it goes through one torch and then another torch to power the next two pistons so each pair on each side um, are set off with two torch delays between them so the bottom two two torch delays next two two torch delays next two so as we delay the other side which is doing the same thing by one torch delay that means we get these two one torch delay these two one torch delay these two and so on all the way up okay um, now I don't know if it's possible and we'll just uh, actually we'll just have a look at that oh you <laughs> yeah you can't because it gets blocked um, I don't know if it's possible to make that delay between the sides any smaller than that um, you know make it a matter of ticks um, you know if you could you couldn't do one tick because you would turn all your pistons into T flip-flops effectively they they'd extend the stairs but not retract them um, you could do that you'd have to fire it twice to retract them afterwards but yeah you could do that I don't what I don't know is what the maximum 
the smallest possible interval between one side firing and the other side firing is that will still move you upwards and not simply have you trapped um, get you stuck in the stairs um, but one torch delay between each side is results in somewhere in the region of about 10 blocks a second so it's as fast as um, well give or take a few points of a second I did a test with a hundred block uh, version 100 block high version of this it did it in about 10.2 seconds so it's marginally shit slower than the uh, elevator done by 777 static 777 um, and cube hamster I believe has a similar one um, and they'll both do about 10 blocks a second so I'm quite pleased with that um, I'll just put those back in because they're at the floor under the elevator um, so yeah the redstone there above those two bits of redstone we've got pressure plates um, so yeah I am I'm happy with this from a speed perspective. We'll just fill this up so we don't get slimes in here. Um, I'm happy from th with this from a speed point of view. Um, I'm also... Uh, we need to uh, half slab this maybe, otherwise we will get sp slimes in here. Um, happy with it from a resources point of view. Um, it's really cheap, this is, for, for a a piston elevator and um, for every block upwards you travel you need two torches one piece of redstone two pistons and two stairs and a load of building blocks uh, I don't know four, four or five building blocks which to my mind is pretty resource friendly uh, that'll do and um, the first design I came up with um, actually required um, something in the region of like two pistons, two stairs, eight bits of redstone um, and two repeaters for every single block up which you travelled so it was massively expensive so I'm really pleased with it now the only flaw with this design which um, I don't know if this is a totally original design by the way um, certainly I've worked on it with pretty much no little or no reference to existing zipper lifts done by other people. I watched a couple of showcases and that's what got me interested in designing one because um, I wanted to know, I wanted to figure out how it worked. So it's original to me but maybe not original to Minecraft. But the problem with the design is uh, there's no down function. Um, you can get zipper lifts that will take you down as well as up. Um, but to be honest I really don't mind um, the down on a lift can never be faster than a quick drop um, and I have an idea for a quick drop with level select uh, which we'll be building at some point um, so I'm happy um, I don't mind that this doesn't have a down uh, you know you can't go down in it as well as up so um, yeah all that is left really to do is take a ride so we're at Y27 and I think we're heading to Y96 or so but keep keep an eye on this number here as we do this ready for launch go Ho -ho! Would you look at that? Brilliant. Very happy with that. Very, very happy indeed. Um, I've tidied this area up a bit. I've realised that it's a little bit of a mistake there. I want to replace those with sandstone so we can just walk out and then pop those off and yeah that's better so we'll just be able to walk out brilliant well fantastic so the next task here is for me to 
um, for me to add to this is um, a level select um, so that we can go to the the middle level if so needed um, yeah that'll do um, and also we need to build this quick drop so so we're not using this ladder now I may actually attempt to build the quick drop in this service space here um, not too certain yet because well, simply because the quick drop is going to involve water um, in order to make it selectable. So um, there's a lot of redstone back there and I really don't want to break it. However, um, I'm pretty certain we're running close on recording time today. And um, what I thought I'd finish with would be... Uh, a little introduction to something I've been I spoke about a couple of episodes back and said we were going to be getting on to and have haven't gotten on to uh, due to me recording far too much um, to put in one episode and having to edit it down so never really getting on to this project however I would one of the stops on this uh, zipper lift will be this area here which is the site of creeper works if you remember I mentioned this a couple of episodes back this is going to be our mob science facility or well minecraft science facility um, so um, if you remember the creeper at the door want to test that out um, we're going to be a um, redirecting mobs out of uh, this tube here which is the drop down to the XP farm um, so we're going to use this um, area here to um, take a feed and be able to redirect them into creeper works and One of the other reasons to um, cite Creeper Works here is this uh, spider spawner, which um, is going to help me sort the mobs at some point. Um, I'm going to want to create a mob sorting machine. Um, that's that is going to have to wait until 1.3 comes out because rumor has it there's a bit of AI change that's going to happen with the. Uh, with the creepers so um, uh, perhaps with other things as well who knows so that mob sorter is going to have to wait until that's been uh, sized up but yep yeah, I'm going to dig a load more area out we're going to have um, mob testing bays so that we can set up experiments and uh, and then drop mobs into them from the sorter and run our experiments on them um, I would kind of like except for the more crazy stuff uh, which will have to take place in creative I would kind of like to have some redstone labs as well um, if we can get enough redstone together then it would be nice to be able to test out circuits in, in the survival um, world in the LP world rather than going into creative and doing it there uh, I don't know I just think that'd be kind of nice to be able to do it that way um, but yes um, lots of ideas here got a very cool idea for lighting um, I'm gonna put on a cube and cube hamsters three by three doors in here um, and uh, I'm gonna go for this look with the um, stone half slabs throughout because I think it looks kind of quite sort of modern and uh, like they're like um, big tiles I guess um, I think it gives the area quite a, a stark sciency appearance so um, yeah um, 
I'm not going to say what I'm going to do next episode because that does not seem to work out very well um, because I never do what I'm going to say. Um, but suffice it to say, suffice it to say um, I look forward to any comments you guys have got um, on the zipper uh, or this area here or anything else um, in the world. Um, Uh, yeah, I've run out of things to say, so I'll simply say, I've been Woolly Creeper, and I'll get you next time. <laughs>